we were all just having a good time, you know, just ordering drinks and food. And then the bill came. The bill was $4,600. Wait, no way, boy. Picture this. You're at a nice restaurant with your girlfriend and her friends. Everyone's having a good time until the bill arrives. Suddenly, all eyes are on you. Do you pay for everyone? Do you split the bill or do you refuse it together? Well, that's exactly what went down in today's story where one guy decides that enough is enough and he's drawing the line paying for the whole table. We also have that plus more where we're going to react to a mom and a wife cat fighting it over the front seat. And trust me, you want to watch this. Fridays are normally slow days, but I think I got some good ones for today's video. I don't want to hold you. Go ahead and hit the like button. Definitely share the video. This is your first time watching. Hit the subscribe button. Let's get to it. I invited 10 people. We were all just having a good time, you know, just ordering drinks and food. And then the bill came. The bill was $4,600. He literally pitched in $18. Oh, well, hell, Victor, I need to hear this. Tell me your part. If he only pitched in $18, that means he probably only ate $18 worth of food. Okay, well, let me tell you the truth. So basically, she went to a restaurant that she can't afford, and other people were there with ordering steaks, lobster tails, all that. And I looked at the menu. I knew I wanted to buy all that. So I bought calamari and a Sprite for $18. And that's what I gave her, and she looked at me crazy, and I looked at her crazy right back. Because I'm the only one with sense. Girl, I'll fake it in your hair right now, Coco. And I absolutely agree. That's what you call a switch and bait, where they say, hey, we're going to go out to eat, and then everyone's just going to chip in at the end and pay for the meal. No, that's not what happens here. It's okay when everyone eats the same amount of meals and kind of the same meals. When you went into this situation and all you had was $18 worth of food, but everybody else ate $300 worth of food, that's when you got to look at your environment, make an executive decision, and get up out of there. Why? Because those are really not your friends, and that's really not your girlfriend if she's trying to get you to pay for it. I'm not sitting in the back seat. You need to get out. Mom. Your approach is all wrong. You gonna sit in the back seat today? You need to get out. I'm not sitting in the back seat. Okay, you gotta show the man's wife or girlfriend a little bit respect because you're going on a family outing. The wife is already used to sitting in the front seat. Just because you're the mother and the grandmother don't mean that you have privilege over her. Moms, I'm upset. I will uh, you will have to get in. Did you? What's your name? I not something. I wouldn't even go either. He should have checked his mom about the approach. So can you understand why the wife or girlfriend is saying she don't want to go at this point? There is definitely some animosity before this situation happened. You could tell by how fast the events took place. Mother said, get out the front seat. Girlfriend says, I'm not going. So I was just on a date, literally had to fight for my life. You see my hair? You see my hair? So I've been talking to this guy for about like two weeks now. Great guy, very attractive, owns his own home, his cars, got his own business, like financially stable and he don't live with mommy, never been married, no kids, like very attractive, tall man, intelligent man as well. You know, we met a couple of times, like just to work out and whatever, like I met him in like a jogging club and I found to lose weight. So today was a friend day that I wasn't so busy and we met and went out on a date. So we go to this restaurant, this nice restaurant. We're talking, everything is going great. We're eating food, blah, blah, blah. Like, it was just great. We was on this date for about two hours. After that, he asked me, he said, um, what you want to do now? And I was like, I should pull. And you're like, that. he's like, oh, you should pull. And I said, yeah, he's like, well, let's switch some pool then. So we go to this bar near my house. And we walk in and we like, is there any pool tables available? And they say, hey, there's pool tables in the back or you can get the VIP room and whatever. And he said, well, how much is the VIP room? Never mind, we'll just take it. And I was like, oh. So we go in the VIP room and we're shooting pool, we're talking stuff, we're clowning. He says, do you drink? And I said, I'll lightweight, but it's two green tea shots. He calls the waiter over. He said, get us some green tea shots and keep them coming. I'm like, okay, that's red flag number one, because now you're trying to keep me tipsy. But anyway, we drink and we're having a great time. I'm thinking I'm really good at pool and I'm winning. The whole time he's letting me win. So he called the waiter over and was like, can we use some chicken wings and some other stuff and whatever like that? And like, he just bought a table full of food and we're just having a great time until we, we wasn't. I guess his chicken wings was cooked too hard, which I told him the food there wasn't good anyway, but you can't tell the man anything. So he calls the waiter over it and he tells the waiter, hey, uh, I don't like the chicken wings. Can you take them off the bill or whatever like that? And the waiter say, well, you ate four out of 10. I will have to grab the manager. So he said, okay, that's fine. Watch. So the manager calls and he goes, what's the problem? And next thing you know, my date stands up and socks him in the face. It happened so fast. I was just sitting there like, what just happened? Now our date and the manager is like wrestling. And then the waitress jumps in. He's like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> 
the way she's like, I'm like, driving, and I'm like, stop. She turns around and starts slinging on me, and I'm like, bro, I'm trying to try to fight you. She grabs me by my hair and like punches me multiple times, and so I just pushed her, and now me and her is fighting. Security comes, picks me up, and slams me on the pool table. I grab the pool ball, and I'm throwing it at security. My date tackles security, and then grabs me, and now we're running out the building. He said, get in the car, get in the car. So I jumped in the back, and he skirts off, right? in the back seat, trying to wrap my head around what just happened. He goes, you good, you good? I said, bro, take me to my car. We get to my car, he gets out the car, and he goes, like, you good or whatever? I said, hey, what's, are you good? Like, what's wrong? She was like, yeah, I'm good, I'm just trying to make sure you good. I said, listen, we grown, and I got sh to lose, and you got sh to lose too, and, and what you just pulled wasn't cool at all. Bro, like, we're gonna go to jail, and whatever. He was like, but we didn't. Baby, the way I grabbed my keys and got in my car, and I'm driving home, right? I look, he's following me. And he's sending me multiple text messages. I just want to make sure you make a home safe. I just want to make sure you make a home safe. Then I got on the highway and just kept driving. I drove all the way downtown, or getting to the west side, to the east side, and then I just made it home. I've been driving for like an hour and a half. Just to get away from this man. I'm done, y'all. I am done. It sounds like to me you're not that done if the first thing you did was get on TikTok and tell people about your story. It sounds like you were out with a hood dude. You looking kind of hoodish, and you probably went to a hood event. And then things like this just happens where everyone fights and gets over it. This. Hello, give me one more time. One more time. One more time. I'll walk back. I gotta get a vote. Let's see. I'll walk back. 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 I'll walk Lola cheats. Lola freaks. You made yeah. snacks. That's it. Yeah. Talk. Lola cheat. Huh? I be whipping it up in the kitchen. What you be making? I get that wet wet. Yeah, you want some fuck. Get the fuck. Wait, what you mean? Hold on, hold on, real quick. I would get back. I would have popped the balloon too. It's too common for women to say, hey, you can get it wet and you know how to twerk. Men nowadays, they're looking for something different. They kind of outgrown the thought phase. Y'all said. How do you feel? You go to the right. Y'all playing, y'all. Now, hold up. What's your name? Aaliyah Million. Oh, hell no. She said, don't stop me, please. Man, bro. All right, bro, what you doing? I'll be working. Where you working at? Amazon. Amazon. It'd be working. Feet. Let me see your feet. You want me to take my shoes off and show me my feet? <laughs> what he said? It, it ain't ugly, you go to the right. So, my feet ugly. I just feel like no business. Go ahead. You're right, go ahead. You start barking at me, it's like, I see you go to the right. Yeah, we should go. Show me for that. Yeah, you cool. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Go. Go on, watch it be. <laughs> Wait, huh? Hey, yo, so BJ, like, you like feet? Nah, I just, like, know, like, if a girl keep her feet other day, she... Okay, all right, I read. That makes sense. All right, next. That's a little tip for you guys. If she keep her feet up to date, she up to date. What that means? Women can't put soap inside of their JJ, So they have to have special treatment in order to treat their JJ. If not, they start to have hormone off balances. It starts to stink. It starts to smell. Mm. Uh, What's her name? Shanti, Renee? Shanti Renee. Oh, Shanti Renee. What you do? Um, I'm a hairstylist and I'm all upcoming YouTuber. So, right. yeah. yeah. Can we get 360, please? Where did the f go? It's like, what, what is what's the hell? Like, that shit was doing good. Oh, uh, see. He's talking about, yeah. Very cool, though. You cool. Oh, oh shit. My brother got pulled over with that switch. He's going to take the chart. It depends on how long we've been with each other. Is he going to take the chart? I right, like one year, one year. Yeah. No, I won't. You going to take the switch chart? To me. What are you? You lie like him. She lie like him. Like, <laughs> ain't nobody get ready to take the charge for the switch. That's going to give you almost 45 years. Man, they wrong with them off. Man, what they go do with some wheelchair? Everything still work. Don't worry about it. I'm going to keep it. Everything still work. Don't worry about it. Is you in that wheelchair for real? What's wrong with you? That's violating my HIPAA. It's violating your man. Man, I like, man, when I go fishing and you put the fish in the boat, this, I like for it to flap before you take it home, which you can't flap. You got the later. No, it's going to do that. Man, you don't know what I can. She that chain, you man. You know, she said me. Yeah, that truck got wheels on it. I ain't got no wheels. Them thighs. She might got some. Back. You and that weird stuff, real. You playing? I ain't. I'm not serious. You too. I you don't look like you do. Pretty in the morning. Thank you. Yeah, she don't blow in that chest. She fake. She ain't fake. I ain't trying to be. I ain't Most people to be don't play like that. And we'll push you out here. <laughs> Give a that. <laughs> man, I ain't never seen a motherfucking pushed out here in a wheelchair like that. And you say everything ain't work. Everything. How good do it work? You want to tell. How many times you get a tune up? She don't, she don't need a whole change. I'm not a car. Yeah, that got to be tuned up like a car. 
I, I understand what you're saying, but you have to. I don't understand what y'all saying. You say every year, I'm going to keep her. Yeah, I'm going to keep her. Yeah, yeah, I won't keep her. You be a fool to get rid of her. Okay, how you rolled up on that? Can you cook? You can safely stand next to the stove. Yeah. Chair. Right. No worry, I will help you. You going to help me? Yeah, you been going to the dinner. Yeah. Pretty Free white thing. Man, I wouldn't give a damn I mean, if she in that chair or not. All right, so yes or no, y'all keep her? Hell yeah. You need me to push you up out of here? We can't say no. What are you helping? You can push her. You I might push her out of the chair. He, he's the better than me. Yeah, I got you, baby. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I got you. Get in the comments to let me know. You ever dated a woman in a wheelchair? You said what? Who you been talking to? Janine Bobby Chalk. Who you been talking to? And you ain't talking to me. Oh, yeah. I mean what I say and I say what I mean. You look like me then. All right, Dad, so I'm talking to you. Whatever, boy. So what's up? You talking about? Yeah, I think you show me what's that. We're not, we not going to shop or what we doing. I just told you I'm going to take shop. Okay, out to eat. I don't think you deserve that. Yes, I did steak not by four. You could have both that. Steak not by four. What is that? It's in Bradley. Was like an upscale spot? Mm -hmm. I don't think you deserve that. Mm -hmm. Why the f would I take you there? Because look at me. I'm looking. Oh, okay. about to look, uh, what else? First of all, she ain't even cute. She got a lot of tattoos, deep voice, and she's kind of chubby in a way compared to all the other girls before that he had. Get in the comments and let me know. Face, what else? I have a great person to have. That's not that make me want to spend my money on you? Yes. I promise you with it. I promise you with it. All right, you're going to be sitting here and I'm going to be gone. I'm not spending shit. Okay, so what you want me to do? What you willing to do is show me the show. She got a light little mustache up here. When you're dealing with the girls with the light mustache, you can clap cheeks, but these are the ones that get crazy real fast. And I stay. Yeah, I'm nasty. I ain't no demon. I'm not no freak show. Nasty. <laughs> I'm not giving you no nasty. What's so funny, though? Good. I'm not because you try to be nasty with me. All right, I'm, hey, you know. I'm a nasty. So, try to see how nasty. Oh, not for you ain't even look. You know what? I'm just giving you the same minutes you give me. You see how you reacting when I'm saying this? That's how I'm reacting when you talking about me take It's like, oh, no, no, like, I'm like, you know what? I got you, baby. You a little right. Hold on, bro. I like dudes that like spending money. I don't know why you telling me that. I just told you I'm not spending no money on you. Okay, fine. I got something that's going to make you spend that money. What's that? Like, it, and it's, you don't spend some money on men. I mean, it's fat, but I ain't spending no cheese, though. For real? What you mean? For real? I said, what you mean? Oh. I'm not spending no money. All right, Dan. You ain't for It's how I don't know what you got going on. I don't waste your time. You know I mean? I'm not about to spend no money on you just because you thick. All right. Nobody like this raggedy ass cloud anyway. Get some little um, digital. You get out. Hop on my mouth. Pants. She did all that booty clapping in the car, rubbing all over him. That's how come he had to block out the screen that he told her, I'm still not going to give you any money. When it's all said and done, these women's souls are for it sell and if you're willing to pay the price then they're willing to do anything never date a woman who don't respect your wife what the hell you shouldn't be dating no other goddamn woman so i didn't mean to say i said um shit that's good if you enjoyed the video go ahead and hit the like button definitely share the video and if this was your first time watching hit that subscribe button we post every day unless i'm on vacation hasta la vista